From bark to bark he darts in flight, this craning no-neck woodland sprite, our all-seasoned tree inspector, an invertebrate collector who claims old tree holes for his den, part woodpecker and partly wren, and bearing feathers that would place him in a pygmy blue jay race. He barely sings, he doesn't drum, but climbing up and down the plum, not only facing up but down, is the nuthatch's renown. The trunks he wends across his days are all his upright alleyways, and as he charts his alpine course, we hear his scratch and nasal morse, his neurotic traffic-clearing horn that seems less urgent than inborn. His escalades will carry him from bowl to bow to outer limb, and all the while around he'll wind, above, before, below, behind, no tree climbers quite as stellar as this spry no hands repeller. All his circumambulations and determined excavations. When with a probe and peck or flitch, this aid relieves a broadleaf's itch and earns the morsel of some pest he'll eat or stash or bring to nest. He saves for when the hunts are harder in his secret winter larder. And winter's when he comes for Cedar, suet at the backyard feeder. But he only stays for just a hello. He strictly carry out this fellow. He builds one seed, then off he flits, and on a tree that seed he splits, to have the kernel, hence his name. And soon he's back for just the same. The way he cranes about to see when scaling up or down a tree. This no neck with his upturned beak could use a chiropractic tweak and music lessons in our view. But no neck is no nonsense, too. And with the nuthatch, we won't wrangle. We see things from a different angle. <laughs>